Hello, my name is Tom Geary. I'm a concrete superintendent with Parisi Construction and I've been with the company for 11 years. Parisi Construction is a third generation municipal contractor doing DOT, municipalities, and private construction work. The company itself is broken into two different divisions, dirt and pipe and concrete. I work on the concrete side of the business. The concrete side works on DOT work, municipal work, and private construction work. Uh, the private construction work is generally commercial construction, everything outside the building. So curb and gutter, sidewalks, pavings, patios, retaining walls, um, planter walls, things like that. Before the implementation of millimeter GPS, pouring curb and gutter was much more labor intensive. First of all, you needed to have hubs put in the ground by a surveyor, followed up by a string line crew that would then set string line, pounding wands in the ground so that the machines could follow the string line. After that was done, a grading crew would come in and either use a curb machine or possibly a dozer and grade the curb following the string line. After that was done, a pouring crew would come in and the curb machine would follow the string line to establish the grade for the curb as well as the alignment. Some of the downsides of setting string line were the fact that number one, you had to pound a ton of wands. And at times the ground is cement stabilized, which makes that very hard and they need to be drilled in. Secondly, they are in the way of all construction going on either on the street or the site. If you're in a reconstruct site, you may have tons of driveways throughout the neighborhood that now have string line up that people are going back and forth across. Parisi Construction was the first in the state to implement millimeter GPS. The thought was we could reduce labor and provide a better product. There was a fairly long learning curve as no one else had been doing it. But once everything was implemented and we got a system in place, we realized that we could cut a lot of time out of our schedules. The millimeter laser works as a 360 rotating laser that sends a cone band out to the site. Once the rover sees the beam, it will now calculate an, an elevation based off the laser's position. Once when that is established, the rover will now go check real life positions and make sure the laser is accurate. Once when it is accurate, it will check curb that is being poured to make sure that is put in per plant. Right now we're getting ready to start pouring uh, this last bit of curb. So right now I've got the machine online uh, before he starts taking off. Uh, he's checking to make sure he's got visibility with his lasers. Once the truck gets back in, we're gonna start, start pouring. As soon as he starts to pour is when I'm gonna start checking with the, with the rover to make sure that concrete's getting put down the correct way and then I'll just follow and continue on, make sure that it gets put in right. Right now I'm checking his elevation, his horizontal right away. Um, we want to check it right away as soon as concrete comes out. So if we need to adjust, we can make that adjustment right away. Elevation's gonna have to come up. You wanna send them up 300? What's exciting about this technology is we can be pinpoint accurate. It is two hundredths of a foot accurate over 300 feet. You can never be that accurate with a string line because of sags, knots, or interruptions from the crew. Two hundredths of a foot is roughly a quarter of an inch, which in terms of civil design is almost airless. Uh, efficiently, it works because you know, we can send one guy out, set up a job site, set up millimeter for our machine to run. Um, that's just one guy can do it in a day versus the old string line ways. You take a whole crew, four or five guys all day pounding in stakes. This way it's done in hours and not days. So. The millimeter GPS is great because you eliminate pounding all those wands, which is very labor intensive. Also, your model is made beforehand so you're working off one model to grade and pour your concrete. 
With this, our model builder can look ahead of time and pick out problems that we would not perceive in the field. This has eliminated a lot of reconstruction. Also, the fact that we were pouring the sidewalk first, then the curb, there's no need for the grading crew to cross over the curb and cause damage to it. That has been a great benefit. Our punch list and callbacks have dramatically went down. For the employee, it makes it a lot easier for them not to have to deal with the string line. The person that would be out pounding wands, shoulder injuries are gonna go down and you're not gonna have these problems because you're not having repetitive work with the same two people doing that all year long. In conclusion, the benefits of millimeter GPS far outweigh the old system of string line. Your tolerances are much tighter, you reduce your labor, you reduce schedule, and the end product is straighter and closer to elevation than it ever has been in the past.